Hey guys, it's VoidRaven5829, and in this video I wanted to talk about creating your battle plan. Um, so generally when you make a list, or at least when I do, I have a task set out for every unit in my army. I have, you know, like, uh, when I make an army list and I write it up, and I, you know, go into all the detail about it, I write up my deployment and my turn one and possibly turn two on how I'm going to act with this army. Um, and I make sure that I, excuse me, I, I, I uh, drill that into my head, excuse me, um, for every list I write, so that I make sure I stick to the plan and I don't lose momentum. I don't lose heart and that I keep moving forward. Um, and I think that everybody should uh, have a battle plan in mind and um, should not, like, um, I mentioned this in my momentum video, um, you don't want to be a passive player, you don't want to just be reacting to what your opponents do or what cards you draw. You want to have a plan in place for every contingency that you can um, so that if X, uh, X or Y happens, you do Z in order to make sure it doesn't happen again um, while you're keeping track with your battle plan. So if my plan, with, like for my orcs example, my plan with them is to rush forward, keep my opponent on their back foot, so they have to choose their targets wisely. Um, as opposed to just like trying to pick out my, my weaker characters, etc, etc. My battle plan is to disrupt their battle plan to steal the momentum and to make sure that my opponent can't recover or at least they recover in the late game after I've already burnt myself out and most of my dudes are dead anyway. most of my dudes and hopefully their dudes are dead alright so the, the point of a battle plan is to um, make sure that you know what's possible for your own army to do and to make sure that um, you can easily keep tabs of your units and make sure that they are optimized and doing what you have them planned to do. Um, if you go in, if you make a list and you just throw in a random, a random unit um, without thinking too much about them or have, putting too much thought into uh, what you want them to do to your opponent, they're not going to perform uh, to their fullest. They're not going to behave as you need them to, um, and they're just going to end up wasting points and time and energy and just overall not be good for you, or at least not as good as they could be for you. Um, so, yeah. Um, like I, um, and like I, like I uh, alluded to, the way I practice keeping my battle plan in check is that when I write a list, write down every unit and write down what they do in the game for every unit. Like, this unit is uh, anti-tank, alright? So what are they going to be shooting at? What location, you know, relatively, are they going to be on the battlefield? Are they going to be center left? Are they going to be all the way to the left because they're really long range? You know, keep that in mind write your battle plan and make sure that you know that terrain can change and you know you're not gonna be able to have the exact lineup you need part two of having a battle plan is knowing when to give it up all right like I said I write uh, my first two t turns in advance because I know that orcs at least the way I run them they're going to get into assault turn two regardless of where my opponent is, hopefully, <laughs> unless I'm playing like on a really long battlefield and they keep backing up. Um, my battle plans only last till turn two because that's how far I assume I can see the future. That's because um, around turn two or turn three is right when you start seeing um, how the battle is gonna pan out. It'll either be really into one person's favor or it'll be really balanced and you'll have to recheck at the end of turn three or beginning of turn four to see um, 
and like check in and see how your troops are doing, how your opponent is doing, and the general uh, psychological state of both players to make sure that you can keep momentum going or you can stop their momentum and take it back. Um, and so you write a battle plan, stick to it for the first couple of turns, check in to see how the, the state of the board, <coughs> excuse me, and if everything is going according to plan, keep doing it. Keep going, keep the momentum up, and just dishearten your opponent as much as possible if you're going for that. However, if at the bottom of turn two or three, uh, your list or your battle plan is completely ruined, don't lose faith, don't get distracted, don't let your opponent have the momentum, regroup in your head and don't rush okay so like if you are uh, for my orcs at least um, I keep going to this example because that's the one that's the best one I have I have I run what I call the, the green fist I have three trucks of boys um, surrounding a blob of orc bikers all protected by the mega force field and I rush that turn, uh, turn one and turn two into my opponent's face, because they have to on turn two they have to deal with uh, like 40, 45, 50 orcs jumping out and assaulting them in their backfield. Where I have the rest of my army, the supporting of my army, my mega knobs, my tank busters, they're running up uh, between turn one and two on the opposite side of the board to make my opponent choose between hitting my green fist. Or my support, my uh, supporting uh, tide. Um, and so, if I lose two or three or two or all of my trucks for my green fist on turn one, yes, my momentum, like um, my speed of my army, has dropped. But I keep my battle plan going. I keep trying to charge forward. I keep trying to get into combat with as many units as I can and mop up what I can with my tank bosses and megas. If I lose like the entirety of all my momentum and my opponent counter charges me and my plan has gone to gone to shit where I don't have the oomph of my green fist, I don't I'm not charging or anything like that. I'm not getting furious charge off. That's when, you know, I push the oh shit button <laughs> and I spread out uh, my tank busters and megas and try to hold out as long as possible and try to grab as many objectives as I can. You have a backup plan. You have a backup to your backup plan. Um, the whole point of having a battle plan is to make sure that you know when to throw it away and bring up a new one. Make sure you don't panic and you don't let your opponent see that you're thinking to yourself, oh crap, what do I do now? Because as soon as either of those things happen, you lose. Thank you for listening. This has been Void Urban 5829.